Large companies usually make billions in revenue and earn their shareholders fortunes. Until they don't. We look at the 20 companies who lost the most amount of money in the space of a year. Number 20. MMO2 One of the largest mobile phone companies in Europe announced a dramatic annual loss of $15 billion in 2002, admitting they massively overpaid for their 3G mobile licenses. This loss is the second largest in British corporate history and will only be topped by another UK telecommunications company later in this video. Number 19. UBS The world's biggest banker to the rich posted the largest corporate loss in the history of Switzerland when UBS lost $17 billion during the Great Financial Crisis of 2008. The Swiss banking giant was one of the first to be hit by the subprime mortgage crisis following a disastrous expansion into investment banking, shattering its reputation for Swiss solidity. Number 18. E.ON the German utility company reported record losses of almost $18 billion in 2016, blaming the German government's decision to phase out nuclear energy and heavily subsidizing renewable options, leading to a slump in power prices which eroded the value of its nuclear, coal, and gas-fired power plants. Number 17. Nakheel The property developer behind Dubai's palm-shaped islands prospered during the Emirates' boom-time development. The music stopped when the world was hit by the global financial crisis, which precipitated a decline in Dubai's real estate market and put the company at risk of bankruptcy when they lost almost $21 billion in 2009. Number 16. United Airlines The U.S. airline took major losses of $21 billion in 2005 as a fallout from the bankruptcy in 2002, which was by far the largest airline bankruptcy ever, following collapse in air travel after the 9-11 attacks when many nations increased border security and oil prices became volatile. Number 15. France Telecom The French telecommunications giant was another victim of the telecom crash in 2002 when they lost $23 billion. The company was crippled by debt and the second most indebted company in the world. They also posted the second largest loss in French history, only topped by another company later in this video. Number 14. Anglo-Irish Bank The Dublin-based bank became a victim of the debt crisis that swept through Europe after the global financial crisis and posted staggering losses of $25 billion in 2010. Anglo-Irish was lending so aggressively that the bank ultimately had to be nationalized, as their collapse would have taken the entire Irish banking system down with it. By 2010, the bank accounted for a third of Ireland's entire debt. Number 13. Bankia As the European debt crisis spread to Greece and Southern Europe, Spain's Bankia lost $25 billion in 2012. The bank nearly collapsed and received a bailout from the European Union and was nationalized by the government of Spain to avoid a complete collapse of the Spanish banking sector. Number 12. Vivendi The French media giant posted the largest loss in French history at $25.5 billion in 2002. The world's second biggest media company at the time, which also owns Universal Music, was impacted by poor sales of compact discs as more and more people turned to digital piracy for their music. Number 11. Deutsche Telekom The German telecommunications giant was another victim of the telecom crash following the bursting of the dot-com bubble. The $27 billion loss in 2002 was largely due to the sharply reduced value of investments the company made during the tech stock bubble of the late 1990s and the largest loss in European corporate history at the time. Number 10. Citigroup the U.S. investment bank saw its mortgage investments go down the drain in 2008 when the subprime crisis put Wall Street through the biggest challenge since the Great Depression. Citi lost $28 billion and required a massive bailout by the U.S. government. Number 9. Royal Bank of Scotland On the other side of the Atlantic, Scotland's National Bank in the same year announced the largest annual loss in U.K. corporate history of $34 billion, 
mainly from writing down poorly performing assets that were purchased before the unprecedented turbulence in financial markets. Number 8. Quest The US telecommunications company was another victim of the tech bubble burst and boasted a staggering $36 billion loss in 2002. The company was facing bankruptcy, saddled with billions in debt, and their CEO was later convicted for insider trading. Number 7. General Motors Not a bank or a telecom company for once. General Motors in 2007 posted the largest ever loss for an automaker at $39 billion when the company wrote off their tax credits. This came at a difficult time for the company, who lost another $31 billion the year after when auto sales dropped due to the financial crisis. Number 6. Vodafone We reached the biggest losses for European companies, with the UK's Vodafone posting more than $40 billion of losses in 2006. The telecom company went on a buying spree during the dot-com boom and became the largest cellular service provider in the world, but then had to pick up the pieces as they later realized they had massively overpaid. Number 5. Freddie Mac The US government-sponsored company provides guarantees for mortgages. They guarantee that the banks giving out mortgages won't lose money if the borrowers default, making it easier for people to get home loans. Their business model got slaughtered during the Great Financial Crisis of 2008 when their losses exceeded $50 billion. Number 4. JDS Uniphase The US fiber optics manufacturer made history in 2001 when they posted 56 billion losses the largest ever loss at the time. The US company became another casualty of the dot-com crash, with losses largely due to write-downs of companies they bought in the years before. Number 3. Fannie Mae Similar to Freddie Mac, the company provides guarantees for mortgages and was particularly vulnerable to a crash in the housing market, posting two of the biggest losses of all time during the financial crisis. The company lost $60 billion in 2008 and another $74 billion in 2009, ultimately pushing the US government to place Fannie Mae into conservatorship. Number 2. AOL Time Warner America Online bought telecom giant Time Warner for more than $100 billion at the height of the dot-com bubble. The following dot-com crash wiped out the value of AOL and the company posted a loss of $98 billion in 2002, the largest corporate loss in history at the time. Number 1. AIG Insurance giant American International Group collapsed during the financial crisis and posted a loss of $99 billion in 2008. AIG was heavily invested in risky mortgages and required a bailout by the U.S. Central Bank not just to keep the company alive, but also keep the entire American economy afloat. If you enjoyed this video, please like and leave a comment. And if you want to see more content like this, please subscribe to my new channel and turn on notifications.